Good morning, everyone. Miss Sola here from Learn to Grow. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. It's going to be a nice day out today. The sun's about to come out, and there's a little bit of breeze, so it feels wonderful out here in the garden. I'm under my daughter's sunflowers, so they're getting really, really tall. These are the mammoth sunflowers, so they'll have these big giant flowers and I can't wait to see them but anyways what I want to talk to you about today is how to get rid of caterpillars or cutworms which is the same thing so cutworms are the larval stage of moths and I know there's some green cabbage worms those are pretty much the same thing so they'll eventually turn into moths after they devour our plants our veggies and also I know we love seeing the butterflies you know they help pollinate but sometimes we have to control them when they're starting to eat our food. So a couple things that I'm trying, especially for my seedlings, are I'm surrounding them with toilet paper tubes as well as plastic water bottles. I'm reusing them. I cut the bottom and the top of the plastic water bottles I will show you, and I'm just surrounding my seedlings with that as well as the toilet paper tubes until they grow big, um, big enough. But some of my seedlings are getting devoured by these caterpillars as well. So that's one thing. Another thing that you can do is inviting uh, predatorial birds. And I did hung up a bird feeder. And it's the one I made, that my kids and I usually make every year, but it's uh, made from toilet paper tube, I rolled it or spread some peanut butter on it, roll it some, on some bird seeds, and I just hung it up there with a yarn. So that's an easy way to make your own bird feeder, or you can go buy one at your local hardware store or Target, whatever store you go to, a lot of stores carry bird feeders. So, but anyway, that's another way is inviting predatorial birds to eat those caterpillars. Is inviting predatorial predatorial insects can talk, such as praying mantises, and those you can order online, and they usually live throughout the summer, and they'll devour your insects such as the cabbage worms and caterpillars that we don't want in our gardens. The thing you can do early in the morning is you can spot these caterpillars when they're feeding. Yesterday I spotted about four of those green cutworms and there were some even, they even left me some poop in my, the leaves on my kale. So, and I just grabbed them and squished them or stuck on them. But you can hand pick them, although it is time consuming. So as you spot them early in the morning, maybe sometimes at night, and you can also put them in a bucket of soapy water or you can relocate them somewhere else but I think they'll eventually make it back to the garden so I just get rid of them so that's another thing is hand picking them now another great idea that I've seen some from other gardeners is buying those polyester nets so it looks like these mosquito nets you know that you can drape over your garden it's porous so that we allow sunlight and some air and that but it will block or repel away these caterpillars and won't be able to go in there and eat your plants. So buying those polyester nets, you can buy them online. I'm sure some of the hardware stores sell them as well. Another way to kill or get rid of these caterpillars is by drizzling some Bt powder. Now Bt stands for Bacillus thuringiensis. It is a naturally um, soil dwelling bacteria Although I don't think I would trust it and I know some people use this but I've been doing some reading and I, I recognized the name when I came across GMO, this GMO article, Genetically Modified Organisms and they actually use BT in, to the, the seeds they, you know, the farmers, some farmers grow and it's been, there's some studies that has shown some people showing traces of BT in their bloodstreams and now what BT does to the insects is it makes the insect stomachs explode and that's how they die so it causes this little holes in their gut the lining of their guts so I can only imagine if we consume so much of this uh, ba bacteria you know and it's been found into our bloodstream so I'm almost kind of wondering if that can cause the leaky gut disease I don't know so I'm gonna stay away from BT so, but you can, you know, decide on your own. That's another way that a lot of people use to get rid of caterpillars. So one last thing that's very useful to me is companion planting. As I mentioned before in my slugs video that I uploaded about a week and a half ago. So they also deter slugs, the, the herbs and flowers, since they put out this strong sense and that's the plant's defense mechanism. So what I really like that really has a strong scent is lavender, rosemary, 
sage, thyme, I think borage, I don't have any of that, but that's another good one. I don't have mugwort, but that's also another good one to plant um, along with your plants. So I've had, I have some in separate pots right now, but I'm gonna put them actually in the same garden box as my leafy greens. So hopefully it'll deter all these caterpillars from coming back. But they did leave me something. You can see that, that's their poo. So yeah, I've been having problems with them this year. And I moved some of these herbs closer to the bed, thinking about planting some into the ground next to the kale, which will help, hopefully help repel them, especially sage. It's got a pretty strong scent. i planting some of these herb clippings that I started about a month ago into this garden with the kale and bok choy. So hopefully it will repel these caterpillars and since we're so late in the season I, I didn't want to have to sow some seeds and these are not very big plants but at least they'll grow faster. Here's the plastic water bottles that I reuse to surround the seedlings. These are the Russian kale and there's the toilet paper tube roll. These are some, I plant some more bok choy. So hopefully they'll survive because some of our, my seedlings are getting eaten. Like these ones here, I didn't get a chance to cover them yet or surround them with anything. The ones are doing okay. So and this is the more mature Russian kale that I've been harvesting from. Also want to show you the bird feeder I was referring to. So this is just a toilet paper tube. I went ahead and spread some peanut butter all around it and rolled it into some bird seeds. So it's very cheap to do. I hope that you guys found this video helpful and useful and if you have any questions or comments please leave them below for me. Also I want to thank you guys for watching our videos and liking them also as well as sort of subscribing to our channel. We really appreciate it and it's you guys that keeps me motivated to keep filming these videos since it, you know, it makes me happy that people actually take the time to watch them. So thank you again. Also, we are on Facebook, so you can follow us there. I post some pictures there three or four times a week of our garden, sometimes arts and crafts that we do, and also some adventures that we do as a family. But anyways, I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.